Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on signals and systems. In this video, we will consider at another concept on sketching even and odd components of a given signal. But in this example, x of n, I will consider that as a discrete time signal, which is given as 1, 2, 0, 1, minus 2. And an arrow mark has been given here that indicates this is the amplitude at n equal to 0. Is, is that fine? Now, let me sketch that signal x of n. Later, uh, we could find its even part and odd parts very easily. So, I would call this signal as x of n and I will plot this with respect to n. So, I said that this is the amplitude at n equal to 0 and in this case, the, its amplitude is 0. Now, whatever the values, the samples lie uh, right to that, that is uh, at the value n equal to 1, its amplitude is 1. Therefore, I need to sketch this as 1. So I will uh, sketch that. Let me sketch the same thing. So this is done. So next, at position 2, its amplitude will be minus 2. So let me sketch that. So here I would call this signal as minus 2. Is that okay? Next, uh, to left of that. So this signal, at the position minus 1, its amplitude is 2. So I will uh, sketch that here. At the position minus 1, its amplitude is uh, plus 2. Yes, that's it. Next, at the position minus 2, its amplitude is plus 1. So here, let me sketch that. So here, I would sketch this as with the amplitude 1. Is that okay? So these are the amplitude. This is uh, 2, this is 1, this is also 1, and this is minus 2. So once I have sketched x of n, the next task is very simple. I need to find its even part and odd part. Uh, we already know that even part of any signal like c of n, we have the formula for this which is equal to 1 divided by 2 x of n plus x of minus n. So this is the formula to find even part of any given signal. Similarly, we have another formula x o of n which is odd part of the uh, given signal which is equal to 1 divided by 2 into bracket x of n minus x of minus n. So if I can uh, get this, uh, that, that is nothing but sketching odd part. So before I consider sketching even part of any given signal, uh, let me check here. It is 1 by 2, x of n. x of n is uh, very well known, I know it. Uh, I also need x of minus n. So how do I get x of minus n? x of minus n is nothing but the reflected version of x of n along the vertical axis. If I could sketch that, next task is I need to add those signals, divide by 2 so that I get the even part very easily. Is that okay? So first let me sketch x of minus n so that I can add them later I can subtract them to that to get odd part and uh, later I'll divide by 2. Is that okay? So we'll start that. Uh, I'll first consider uh, x axis and y axis. So now I call this signal as x of minus n. This is with respect to n. What is the difference? Difference is that it is the reflected version. So whatever I have the values here, they'll get reflected. At 0, it is 0, that remains same. Now, at one position, uh, at the position 1, its amplitude is 1. So that comes over here. Is that okay? So now whatever I have, values I have at the right side, they become on to the left side. Whatever I have the values on to left side, they become right side of vertical axis. So here, its amplitude will be 1 at minus 1. So let me sketch that. Is that okay? So next at the position 2 I have minus 2. So that becomes here. That comes over here. So this will be minus 2. Correct? Similarly, at the position minus 1 it is 2. So now that gets reflected and that comes at 1. Its amplitude will be 2. Getting it? Similarly at the position minus 2 this is 1. So now it becomes the value 1 at the position 2. Yes, that's it. This is how signal looks like. X of minus n. So this will be amplitude 2. This is 1. This is 1. And this is minus 1. Is that okay? So now the next task is to get its even part. So how do I get the even part? That is much easier. I said I need to add the signals. Later uh, divide by 2. Is that okay? So let me consider sketching even part of the signal. Uh, I'll, I'll just uh, plot it over here. So this signal, I will call this as E1 signal straight away. X E of N. This is what is required with respect to N. So let me sketch this. So uh, I'll go 
a turn by turn. So let me check what do I have at minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Add those samples divided by 2. That is much easier. So let me start from the extreme left. So at the extreme left, at the position minus 2, I have 1 here. I have minus 1 here. So what I am going to get, I am going to add 1 minus 2 is nothing but minus 1. So here I'll get 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is nothing but minus 1. So I would just sketch that here. And later I need to divide that signal by 2. Why? Because you can see here in the formula. So minus 1 divided by 2 is nothing but minus 0.5 or minus 1 by 2. That is what I get at the position minus 2. Similarly, at the position minus 1, I have 2 here, I have 1 here, 2 plus 1, I am going to get 1, uh, 3, 3 later I get div I divided by 2, I am going to get 1.5. Is that okay? So here I will sketch that signal and I would uh, call this signal, this point as 1.5. Uh, similarly, check the values at the position 0. I don't have anything, I don't have anything. So ultimately, this will also be 0. Correct? Now check the values at the position 1. Here I have 1, this is 2, 1 plus 2 is nothing but 3. Later I'll divide it by 2, I'm going to get 1.5. So let me sketch that signal at the position 2. So here I'm going to get the value 1.5. The amplitude is going to be 1.5. Similarly, at the last position, that is at the position 2, this is minus 2, this is plus 1, I am going to get minus 1 and I divide it by 2, I am going to get 0.5. Is that okay? So this I will sketch it and I call this signal as minus 0.5. So this is how ultimately the even part of the signal xc of n looks like. I hope you people have understood. Next part is sketching odd part that is going to be uh, that is going to be even more interesting. That part we'll consider it now. Uh, for time being, let me increase the writing uh, space. Let me do that for a while. Yes, I'm done. So next, what I do is uh, I'll consider sketching odd part of the signal. For that, I'll get x-axis and uh, y-axis. This signal, I would call this as the odd part. So let me call this as x o of n. So I would call this as odd part of the signal, which is nothing but x o of n. This I'm sketching with respect to n. Correct? Now, the difference between even part and odd part is that I added these two signals. Now I have to subtract these two signals. So that's it. So now at the position 0, I don't have anything. Again, let me start from the extreme left. That is the best thing. At the position minus 2, I have 1 over here. At the position minus 2, I have minus 2. What I have to do? I have to subtract 1 minus of minus 2 is nothing but 1 plus 2 and it is going to be 3. Later, I have to divide by 2. I am going to get 1.5. Is that okay? So at the position minus 2, I am going to get 1.5. So I would call this as 1.5. So this is what I get. Similarly, let me check the amplitude sequ sequences at minus 2, uh, minus 1. At the position minus 1, I have 2 over here. At the position minus 1, I have 1 here. 2 minus 1, I'm going to get 1. Later, I'll divide it by 2, I'm going to get 0.5. Correct? So let me sketch that 0.5 over here. Yes. So now I would call this as 0.5. Is that okay? Similarly, at the position 0, I don't have any sample. I'm going to get 0 again. At the position 1, check here, this is 1, this is 2. I'm, subtra I'm subtracting these two signals. 1 minus 2 is nothing but minus 1 and I'll divide it by 2. I'm going to get minus 0.5. Is that correct? So here, I'm going to sketch minus 0.5. So that is there at the position uh, at the position 1, I am going to get, yes, this signal, I would call it as minus 0.5. Yes, next. Moving on further, at the position 2, I have minus 2. At the position 2, I have 1. Minus 2, minus 1, I am going to get minus 3. Minus 3 gets divided by 2, I am going to get minus 1.5. So, I am going to get minus 1.5 at this 
position so let me sketch the same thing minus i would call this as yes minus 1.5 so this is how the odd part of the signal finally looks like so i have explained uh, in this numerical how to find even part and odd part uh, uh, everything has been explained step by step i hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them in the comment section i will definitely answer those uh, doubts and meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on signals and systems thank you everyone for watching